Where are my proud Latinos at tonight? You guys see what I mean? It's wide open. There's so many of them. It's absolutely incredible. Believe it or not, people, I welcome migrants to the United States of America with open arms. And by open arms, I mean like this. <laughs> so Trump held a uh, another rally. This was at uh, Madison Square Garden, New York. And he sold out Madison Square Garden. This is a Trump rally. This is a rally. This guy gets thousands upon thousands of people coming out and and watching him speak doesn't need you know tons of uh, celebrities or high profile celebrities. Now here and, and this one he does have uh, some some really uh, hard hitting big wigs uh, celebrities. But that's because this is Madison Square Garden. I believe, I don't know, this is one of his last uh, rallies uh, before, you know, uh, the big the big day election. But this one right here, I want to check out the uh, Tony Hinchcliffe. Tony Hinchcliffe is probably one of the funniest, the most well-known stand-up comics. Uh, I think he's one of the biggest roasters, I think, that we have out here at this time. But he actually was a uh, speaker at the Trump rally here in Madison Square Garden. I want to check it out. Being a big fan, Tony's uh, has a really uh, successful podcast in Austin, and uh, he came from a Democrat state, California, and moved over to Texas. You know, it, it's crazy because a lot of these celebrities from these Democratic states are actually moving. Elon Musk, uh, Joe Rogan which is a powerhouse, and then, of course, Tony Hinchcliffe, and they're not the only ones. There's a lot more uh, migration over to Texas, over to Florida, to uh, more conservative states. And uh, people are starting to wake up. These celebrities are start starting to wake up and see uh, that, you know, the Democratic Party has not done anything for anybody the democrat party is basically against patriots they're against uh baby's life the nucleus family father figures just uh just godly biblical moral stuff but uh we'll get into that later i want to see what tony has to say so let's go ahead and get into this. There we go. Let's go. <laughs> this dude's a character, man. Now, of course, I don't agree with a lot of his stand-up material just because it's a little grotesque. But he's a funny guy. He's a funny guy. You got to have some kind of sense Wow, of isn't this special? 17 years ago, I was sleeping in my car behind the comedy store in L.A., and I'm proud to say this is my fourth time performing at Madison Square Garden, the most famous arena in the damn world. The American dream alive and well right here. This is very different than where I'm used to performing, though. I'm used to nighttime with people drinking. Not so many babies in the crowd and people that are obviously only here for Lee Greenwood tonight. I don't know who that is. Normally, I don't make my political beliefs a known thing. It's divisive for a comedian to do that. But just know I sleep well at night knowing who I'm voting for. All right, let's go. Yeah. Okay, so he's a Trumper. Yeah. When I lay down and my head hits my my pillow... <laughs> I gotta get me one. It is a fantastic pillow, by the way. I gotta get me one. I gotta get me one. I was staying at the Four Seasons up by Central Park one night, and I laid my head down, and it felt so good. And I thought to myself, what an amazing pillow. I have a little bit of money now. I could buy a good pillow. And I took the pillowcase off, and there it was. My pillow, my pillow, my, my pillow. My pillow guy is definitely And damn it, I bought four of them. Made some bank. I'm gonna look, see how and if you are. use the promo code KILLTONY, you can also buy Bet. 
for my pillows. Bet. There's serious stuff happening, people. I uh, I live in the great state of Texas now. Let's go. Uh, Let's go. 18 years in Ohio, 20 years in California, and I got to see California turn to absolute a uh, horrendous, horrendous thing. And traveling the world, I got to see San Francisco turn into one of the most demented cities, one of the greatest downfalls I've ever seen. And that is where the other candidate uh, worked for two decades. Yeah, that's right. And Harris is It's absolutely from... wild to see. And in she Texas, stuff is really, yeah, really Francisco. crazy. We're right there by a wide open border. Where are my proud Latinos at tonight? I'm here, Tony. Let's go. Let's you guys go, see baby. what I mean? It's wide open. There's so many of them. <laughs> it's absolutely incredible. Oh, man. You got to have a sense Believe of Believe it or man. not, people, I welcome migrants to the United <laughs> States of America with open arms. Okay. And by open arms, I mean like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's wild. Have a sense of humor. And these Latinos, okay. they love making babies, too. Just know that. <clears throat> they do. You got to have a sense they of humor, do. guys. There's no pulling out. They don't do that. They come inside, just like they did to our country. <laughs> this guy's good. Republicans are the party with the good sense of humor. There we go. See? Free speech That's is true. under attack, people. I host a show, and each week I get updates what words we're allowed See? to use and not use anymore. It's happening right now the past few years. It's a real thing. And... Uh, you know, used to be able to tell people to Google stuff. My mom's a boomer in the state of Ohio, and uh, there's no convincing her of anything. She's eating the cats. <laughs> She's eating the dogs. Oh, They're dang. eating the pets up there. It <clears throat> is absolutely wild times. It really, really is. And, uh, you know... There's a lot going on. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah. I think oh, it's wow. called Puerto Rico. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. We're getting there. Yeah, the Again, normally I don't follow the national <laughs> anthem, everybody. Uh, this isn't exactly a perfect comedy setup. There's some people here. All right. Very good. My I pillow, like it. I have other policies That's that it? I think should be implemented as well. Like me personally, I think football should be all year round. Man, I really yeah. don't care about football. I so many football great player. athletes. Or a football watcher. I don't know about you guys, but I think that Travis Kelsey might be the next O.J. Simpson. <laughs> yeah, see, I, I don't get the reference on that one. Maybe you guys can help Feels me out in the comments. Feels good in here. The other side's got a lot of crazy endorsements. Swift, Eminem, Leo DiCaprio, Beyonce. Okay. Every okay. day the Democratic Party looks more and more like a P. Diddy party. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, oh, that's what you guys that. want. Let's go. All right. Heck yeah. That. Cool black guy with a thing on his head. What the hell is that? A lampshade? Look at this guy. Oh my goodness. You said that. Uh, hey, I'm just kidding. That's, that's one of my buddies. He had a Halloween party last night. We had fun. We carved watermelons together. It was awesome. <laughs> you guys are. This is a groany little morning crowd. Do you huh? really think it's P. tough Diddy's to follow get what this uh, audition for the next Commissioner Gordon's over here? I don't. I don't think so. It is though. It's so. crazy times we're living in. I mean, all these pointless wars. It is unbelievable what's happening right now. It is incredible. Yeah. Ukraine versus Russia, Israel, it's like bad soccer games. Who even cares? What are we doing? Why is our money involved in these wars? That's true, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Billions. When it Billions. comes to Israel and Palestine, we're all thinking the same thing. Settle your stuff already. Best out of three. Rock, okay. paper, scissors. You know the Palestinians are going to throw rock every time. Oh, let's see what he says about the other one. But you also know the Jews have a hard time throwing that paper. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Dang. All right, we're having fun now. We're cooking. Is Hillary Clinton said it? that this is a Nazi rally here today. Ooh. 
Can you believe that? For the most yeah, anti-war president of my entire lifetime. And she calls him Hitler. Let me remind you, Hillary, it was your husband who shot innocent people, or as he called them, interns. Uh oh, he's talking about Monica. Oh. Yeah, Hillary, I bet you did not see that one coming. <laughs> By the way, if I commit suicide in three weeks, I didn't. <laughs> oh, dang. I mean, it's just obvious to me who the right candidate is. There's a guy out here dodging bullets. Yep. It is unbelievable, right? Yep. He yep. took it right in the ear. Unbelievable. I thought about this. I don't know if you have. Coolest place to get shot. Like, if you're gonna get shot anywhere on your body, that's where you want it. Right there. Technically, yeah, he got I shot so. in the head, depending on if you're a Democrat or a Republican. <laughs> right? If you're a Democrat, his ear was grazed. <laughs> if you're a Republican, he survived the head shot. Yep. Yeah, it is. It's it, the best I mean, place to get shot. It's the only part of the human body will drive a piercing through like a little girl's ear for no reason. Right? There's just no, it heals fast. Nobody cares. All joking aside, I mean, it was. It's it, the best it, it place to been, get shot. He went down, saw blood on his hands. I'd imagine he stopped right then. Inch. I think I just won this shit. It was half an inch, and he would have. Definitely had stands a, up and says the most American words I've ever heard in my life. Definitely had angels behind the world. No, 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 no. Before that, there was one more. Let me get my shoes. Prayer works. It's all the prayer that that all the believers prayed for this for this man. Fearless, perhaps still with an active shooter. He's talking like a guy that just had the best one night stand of his life, right? Like, where's my shoes at? I gotta get the hell out of here. I thought it was let me get my shoes and then the fight 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 what he did was so cool That's that biden one. got covid <laughs> oh yeah go back look at the timeline of everything again that was just a distraction three days after that that means that biden he didn't get that from hanging out with sick people he was in a sterile room in the white house watching blood running down trump's face as he pumps his fist biden's like <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, God, no. <laughs> it's true. <clears throat> it was all Trump a survived an assassination attempt, and Biden got COVID. We vote next week. God voted three months ago. I'm telling you, prayers. The prayers help. Another great Austin, Texas resident, Elon Musk, will be speaking here later today. You know, Elon's a kind of, I mean, yeah, he supports Trump, but I think to me he's, he's kind of... Unbelievable. Genius. I haven't. You guys saw him shoot him that yet. rocket into outer space, the largest aircraft ever, fires it off <clears> into <throat> space, and then parallel parks it back to planet Earth. Meanwhile, was Kamala cool. supporters that can't was... parallel park their Toyota Priuses properly. <laughs> Sorry, I listen to Elon Musk. I follow his lead. The world's smartest, richest man has my attention. Except for when it comes to stock trading, then I listen to Nancy Pelosi. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's true. But censorship is amongst us people. It's a very, very, very big deal. And uh, I'm just here to say that uh, you guys are for the right candidate. Tell your friends. Let's close it out. And uh, let's make speech free again. Make America healthy again. Let's beat the team from California. The team from New York should beat the team from California. Not only in this election, but in the World Series of Baseball, America's sport. I love you, New York. God bless New York. God bless America. Let's make it great again. Let's go. I love you. Thank you. Welcome. Hey. Yeah, buddy.
Tony Hinchcliffe, the master roaster. Man, this guy kills it in stand-up. His podcast is unbelievable, funny. For a lot of it's it's for adults. Um I don't like his material as much just because it's a little bit too out there, but he, he's a he's a funny guy. And uh I respect that he's he's uh successful in what he does. But this is this is pretty uh cool because I never thought uh Tony Hinchcliffe was a Trumper or supported Trump. The conservative party and that's cool like i mentioned earlier all these celebrities are uh and i hate using the word woke or waking up i think they're just getting their common sense they're actually thinking for themselves and seeing that the democratic party is not for americans the democratic party is not for the family it's not for the church it's not for faith you know what I'm saying? It's 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 corrupted. It's corruption. They want to bring down the United States, the value of family, the value of of uh, the church. I don't know. It's 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 just it is so cool to see Tony up there. You know, and and I'm not a real political person just because I'm not into like the whole legal lingo and jargon of what. This is what that is. What eh, I'm, I'm just not. I probably need to get into it a little bit more and study it. And uh, uh, <clears throat> just because you know, political right now, the political theme of our world uh, definitely affects our world, our lifestyle. So it. I mean, I know who I'm going to vote for. Actually, I've already voted, and. Uh, you know, I just, I just want to see see America thriving again. You know, because the past four years has been uh has been whack, and uh, I don't know. Hopefully, and I'm and I'm talking to you, even the Christians, because a lot of Christians that I've talked to are still struggling. They still struggling of of who to vote for, and um, they think Donald Trump is just the uh, epitome of all people because of the way he talks. And, oh, he's he doesn't, you know, when you start listening to to big media, you're going to believe what they say instead of doing your due diligence and actually researching each candidate, each party, and what do they believe in. But, like I said... And I'm speaking to the Christians. If you're really having a hard time trying to decide, I think just the issue of abortion should uh, separate you away from the Democrats. The Democrats, they're for abortion. Republicans, conservatives are not. That should, that just that little issue alone should get you to vote conservatives but as between you and God continue to pray for our leaders continue to pray for Trump continue to pray for America continue to pray for each other thank you for watching if you want to further support this channel you can check out the links below it is an affiliated link with Officer Tatum's store, which he has tons of awesome pro-Trump, pro-MAGA, pro-Jesus shirts, hoodies, cups, you name it. Check it out down in the link below.